I'm Ryan. I'm your weekend guest vlogger for this weekend. But I have someone following me. It's been following me the last couple of nights, and I can't get away from it. It's gonna kill me. It's gonna kill me. Shh. Did you hear that? There's something behind me. There's something following me. <laughs> Come on, come on, you can do it. Come on, MacBook, you can do it. Okay, uh, I think it's working because I can see myself. That's usually a pretty good sign. So, um, all right, I think we're on. So, I am Ryan. So, hello, everyone. Um, I will be your weekend guest vlogger this week. Um, I'll take you on a magical, geeky journey on Jason, Sam, and Bree's Three Awesome Geeks. So, thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, so basically I am just going to rattle on and talk about pretty much the same stuff that's been on the past shows if you've been watching, um, and try to just include some random things I've been checking out, or movies I've seen, or trailers, or video games especially, because I'm a big video game nerd, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. First topic I want to go over is Pokemon, um, because I love Pokemon. So I am going to show off my super ridiculous awesome collection of Pokemon because I don't have just one version of Pokemon with me. Not two, even. I have four with me. So I'm going to show off my versions I have with me. I brought with me at school, uh, this is Fire Red and Emerald, uh, the two GBA games, as you can tell. Um, I haven't really gotten into them that uh, all that much. Uh, I started playing Fire Red, but then I got kind of bored with it. So, um, I need to go back and play it again at some point. Um, and I just started Emerald about a day or two ago. Um, and I'm liking them both. They're pretty good. I just have to get into them and get time to play them in between midterms and tests and projects and all that stuff. Okay, next up with me, I have Pearl version. Um, this is one of the DS games. This one came out, I think, two years ago. Um, this is the one I've been playing the most lately, like really lately. Um, I've put about 191 hours within two years. I've put in 191 hours into this game. So yeah, I got a little addicted to Pearl. So that's that. And then the next one, which I just bought a day or two ago, was Platinum. Brand spanking new version of Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum. Just started it the other day, uh, kind of getting into it, kind of liking it, even though it is pretty much the same as Diamond and Pearl. Um, but yeah, go Pokemon, because Pokemon rocks. And Sam, I agree with you 100% about these games, because they are awesome. Um, because what other video game lets you pit magical creatures against each other and essentially let them cockfight? And we're teaching this to little kids as they play these games, so that makes it even better. And they are just sick video games overall, so yay for Pokemon. Um, next topic I want to go over really quickly is I know this was the topic last weekend, but I really, really wanted to show off my obscure apparel, so I'm going to show it off. Um, fans of The Office, you're going to remember, you're going to know this instantly. This is the Michael Scott Dunder Mifflin. Scranton, Meredith Palmer Memorial Celebrity Rabies Awareness Pro-Am Fun Run Race for the Cure t-shirt. Um, these were the t-shirts that were featured on The Office um, for the Season 4 opener. And my cousin bought me one two years ago for my birthday. And I've loved her ever since. And I wear this shirt um, every once in a while when I feel like it. But it's an awesome t-shirt and I absolutely adore it. So, yeah, that's my obscure piece of apparel. So you can see on the front it has a little logo, and then on the back it's got the supersized version of that same text. And it is awesome and obscure, and I think it qualifies. So, that's my piece of obscure apparel. Um, next up, uh, this week's question of the week, uh, what decade would you live in? Um, I thought about this long and hard, and that's what she said. And I have decided, um, after much thinking, 
that um, after Sam and Jason mentioned that they would love to live in the 1960s, that I decided I would also live it like to live in the 60s too. But not the 1960s, the 1860s. Hallelujah. I mean, come on. You have the Emancipation Proclamation. You have the Civil War. Pantaloons. I mean, who wouldn't want to wear pantaloons? Sure, the 60s had, you know, Bob Dylan and Beatles and all these amazing musicians and social injustice and riots and things like that. But come on, the 1860s, North versus South. You don't get much more oppression than that. I don't think so. So my answer, the 1860s. Um, that's it for me. I'm done. Jason's going to kill me because this video is about 10 minutes long right now. I know he said five, but I don't care. Screw him. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it for me and my video log. Um, see you guys sometime eventually if I get to be a weekend guest vlogger again. So, till next time, see you later.